so in this video I'm going to show you how to use a form in PCDMS. So forms are just another way of communicating with the operator. Uh, typically you would use an operator comment, an input comment to get feedback from the operator and then use that feedback to change the execution, to um, insert comments in a report, stuff like that. So I'm going to show you how to use a form and it's a little more complicated, not used as often because of that but I'll do a simple one, uh, run it, and show you what I mean. Okay, so let's just run this program. So there's my form. So I've used a form with checkboxes, and this can be a checklist of things the operator needs to, to perform, you know, prior to the inspection, things like that, and also checkboxes that will influence the execution of the program. So let's say, We'll check parts deburred. I'm going to leave this unchecked, clamps in place, and I want to show you what happens. And then we'll do all the rest. So calibrate probes, run manual alignment, and print report. So you can see it's a nice clean sort of a presentation. Um, a lot more user friendly from the operator standpoint. The downside is there's a lot more work from the programming side. Okay, so let's run that. So we'll just click continue you can see the comment there press continue to close the form and resume execution so because I didn't check the uh, clamps in place checkbox this warning comes up so what it will do is cycle back to the form and it will only exit the form if both of those first two are checked so let's do uh, we'll do run manual alignment and print report and let's see what happens so press continue so this is just a comment i'm just simulating the uh, execution of the manual alignment just because i'm offline and this would be a print command that i would set up with if and and if uh, expressions okay so that's my finished uh, program um, so let's go and create a new form and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, so here I have a simple program with one circle in it, that's it. And I will create a simple form, uh, probably the simplest form that's ever been created that just has one checkbox and an instruction to uh, check what you want to execute. Pretty simple. So this is my PC Demons program. Let's go and open up a, a new form. So we find that under uh, file, reporting, new, form report. So here's our form editor. I'm going to minimize my edit window and we can get to work. So you can see on the left hand side here I have several options. I have text boxes, radio buttons, check boxes, all sorts of stuff. It's a pretty huge topic and we're just barely scratching the surface here but if I show you how to do this one you can kind of get the idea and then uh, apply it to your specific operations. Alright so the first thing I want to do is just do our checkbox. So here it is here we're just going to drag that over and we'll make that bigger. So what I want to call or name this the text of my checkbox is measure circle. Simple as that. So to change the properties of this, we can right click and you can see the dialog that opens on the side. Um, we can also change properties like fonts up at the top here. Either way, uh, it achieves the same objective. So let's change it up here. So I'm gonna change that, I want it a little bigger. I'll go with Arial, maybe a size of 12. And that looks good. So it's good enough for what we're doing. Um, the next thing I want to do is make sure that I have um, a name for my object that I can remember. So over here you can see, let me just expand that a bit. So right here is my object's name. So my object is a checkbox. And by default it's called check button one. So you can leave it at that as long as you remember <laughs> that specific name in your PCDMS program. So I'm actually going to leave it like that. So I'll leave it called check button one, measure circle, and we're all good to go. So that's good. The next thing I want to do is just a simple text box. 
I'll just drag that across. Um, change the font. Stick with the same one, Arial. Um, size of we'll st we'll just go with 12. So whatever. I mean, you can adjust this as you like. So the text I want to write is an instruction. So I'll say check what you want to execute and a colon. That's it. So there's other things we can do. We can move this around. We can uh, align it with um, to centered with our checkbox or align to the left. All sorts of tools you can see on this toolbar up here. But for now, I'm just going to put a simple border around it. You can add images, your company logo, pictures of a setup, all sorts of stuff. But uh, just for the purposes of the code, I just want to show you a simple one, and we're going to go back to PCDMS. So before I do that, I need to save this. Save it as a form on my computer. So file, save as, and we'll just call this um, I'll circle form and save okay so now we can go to our PCDMS program okay so step one we need to make an assignment that will link the form object with a PCDMS variable so we'll just enter assign so in my PCDMS program I'm assigning the name of my variable is circle and the value as zero or false and in my case on a checkbox false or zero is unchecked so when the form opens it will be unchecked and if I check it the value then becomes one okay so the next thing I need to do is actually insert my form so that's a report command insert report command and form and then I'll just browse to find my circle one so you can see by default these forms when inserted are unmarked. You can see the background highlighting. F3 will mark it, which is what I want. I'm just gonna max whoops, just gonna maximize my edit window so we can see everything. Okay, so this is the important part. In this line where it says param and you see the equal sign, I need to put my cursor to the left of that and insert the name of my form object, which was check button one. And then we put dot value. So that will use the information in my checkbox, so either checked or unchecked. Then I need to tie that to my PCDMS variable. So that's very important. Also important is the assignment must come before the form. So next I need to apply some logic. So I need to use an if statement. So I'll just type that in if. And then here where the zero is, where it's highlighted, I'm gonna put my variable, it's called circle. So at the moment, the, the value of that is zero, but that can change. So I'm gonna cut and paste this to the end. So that's the end if. Okay, so the way this works is, we will give the operator the option to execute the circle or not execute it. So when it's checked, the value of the object is one. When it's unchecked, it's zero. So in order to execute the circle, the if statement needs to be what's called non-zero. It needs to be true. So if it's false, it's unchecked. It will not execute. If it's true, it's anything but zero. So in this case, it'll be one. So checked. Okay, so that should work. Let's have a go at that. And execute. So here's my very simple form on the right. Check what you want to execute. So let's leave it unchecked for now. So in other words, nothing and just hit play. So you can see nothing executed. Try it again. Check the checkbox measure circle. And there we go. So that worked. So the, the tricky part or the very important part is from here down to here. So that all needs to be tied together. So we have an object, it has a value. The value needs to be inserted into the PCDMS variable. So that's about as simple as it gets, but um, you can imagine how complex this can get. 
I'll just run another example where I used a radio button. Um, just wrote this a little earlier. So it's the same idea, but we're just using a different uh, type of an object. So here's my radio buttons. I've got uh, the option, select and execution options. So run manual alignment, print or not print. So I'll do both. And then we'll go ahead and do that. So then this is again, just a comment simulating the prompting to run a manual alignment and printing the report. This would be in a, a report command. Okay, so um, hope you were able to follow along there. Hope you found that useful. Um, just a quick tutorial on forms. Um, I'd say give it a go. It's, it's pretty interesting and it, it gets easier as you do it more often. Well, that's about it. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.